Ta-dun, ta-da, ta-dun, ta-da. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Marilyn Darling Show. And welcome to another episode of a bullet journal setup video. How are you all doing today? Are you having a nice day? I hope you're having a nice day. I'm having a monster, which I probably should not have. I am not going to feel well later, but we'll take care of that later. Well, <clears throat> I got the coolest idea from Gail, from Gail's Bookish Things, to put a little um, a way to use your scraps and a way to make little tabs on your on your um your, your books that isn't permanent so i'm going to make one with you right now so just for an example she uses um like a bookmark i'm going to use this here now, I don't know how she made hers. I, I, don't, I only have one little tiny clip. But I thought this would be a really good idea if you don't have a lot of tools, quote unquote tools at your disposal, you might be able to get away with using whatever you have to make a, like a place mark. So she uses a paper clip and a piece of paper that's folded in half. I'm going to use a business card and because I already have this business card. I don't have to worry about having the information on it. But she just takes and halves it like that and she sticks it to the top of the of the um, the paper clip and then she glues it. Well, I don't have good proper glue in order to do that. So I'm going to use my little tiny stapler and I'm just going to Come in here and kind of staple it into place so that way it doesn't go anywhere. It's just it's in there. It's not going anywhere. And then I can put it on my paper. And then when I go to do the current page of the current week or whatever, you know, you can kind of go through and see where your tabs are. Of course, I'm probably not going to use it on this book, but that's just an idea. I thought that was pretty unique. So maybe you guys can use that to make one of yours. You could also use a hair clip, a hair clip thing. Just clip it in there. Then the next time you need you just you know where it is because it's kind of funny shaped. Of course, you could just use a normal paper clip. But, you know, I guess it just depends on where you want it and how big you want it and how flashy you want it. She also does a thing where you, where you can put a um, piece of... Uh, words, go words, go. She uses a piece of cloth, like spare cloth, that she uses for sewing to make a bookmark. And I want to do that with a piece of terry, with a piece of canvas cloth. Because I thought that would be really neat if I can find what I did with it. It's around here somewhere. A little tiny sliver. Oh god. I have a little tiny sliver somewhere. I don't know what I did with it. 
<clears throat> but at any rate, this is just give you guys an idea. You can take a piece of cloth, wrap it around, and then staple that into place in order to make a bookmark. Or if you want to, for it to be permanently, you could glue it in, you know. I use staples because they're fast and cheap. Or you could use um, a hair clip. You know, use a hair clip to keep it in. And then you have a neat little clip, a neat little um, thing to tell you where your thing is. So I thought that was really neat. So thank you, Gail. I really appreciate that idea. I do want to use that idea as soon as I figure out what I did with that damn scrap. Yeah. What did I do with it? I swear I move or turn around and everything is misplaced. This is what happens when you clean your room, folks. Stop cleaning your room. It's completely unnecessary. <laughs> Just kidding. Please clean your room. Tiny <laughs> sliver. I don't know what I did with it. See, there's a thing that. Okay, I give up. Well, but that's that's just the, the idea. So you have a little piece of cloth, a little piece of something, you know, that you want to remember that page by. And you can even use something weird like a sweet little packet. I have plenty of those. And I just, you know, staple it or glue it or maybe use... um washi tape or something to hold it in. So that's just an idea. Or if you have like a ticket stub or one of those, um, a fortune, you could hang a fortune off of there and tape or glue it in. That's a really good idea. Like I've been just using washi tape and um, tabs but if you guys have any other brilliant ideas, I would love to see them. Just let me know. Okay, so today we are doing week 29. I cannot believe that we are already 29 weeks into this year. It's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Hi, Kathy. How are you? Are you having a nice day? Oh boy, what kind of jam are you making? Wicked, 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 wicked. No, not that kind of jam. <laughs> okay, we did a crate we inked. Mr. Breeze's birthday. Uh, no mic. Um, I, I spaced on Larry's Zoom, which was uh, not good. Um, I paid the Spectrum bill this time. My credit score went down 10 points because I forgot to pay my credit card, my, my Spectrum bill on time. Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. People's credit score can go real down real fast if you're not careful with your pennies. I'm not usually the kind that Strawberry champagne. Champagna. Wow, that sounds exciting. It sounds fizzy. 
have taught the weight loss class. Today is Disneyland's birthday. I don't know what year it is. 55. Today's Disneyland's birthday. It was a bet between the mayor of Anaheim at the time and Walt Disney and he bet the bank manager that he could build the park in one year and, and Anaheim wouldn't have to pay tax on it at the time. That was a big deal. <clears throat> that was a really big deal. Things were a little rocky in the 1950s. Um, what, just one second. So... Walt Disney built the park in 364 days. They had an opening. It was so bad that when they opened the park, the drinking fountains didn't work. The toilets stopped working. It was a bad day. And so they came in at night, fixed all the toilet pipes, fixed all the things that were going wrong with it. And they reopened on this day. Sixty-six years ago. Wow. That's a long time ago. So... Um, so today we're celebrating Disneyland's birthday, and we'll have a Zoom at 5 p.m. Okay. I think that this week we ought to do a Disney-themed week. What do you say? We'll call it Disney Week. Where I am never cleaning again. <laughs> Let's see, eight and uh, three quarters. More like eight and eight and three quarters. Oh god. Eight five two four point three seven. Oh god. Okay. What if I do it like this? What if I do centimeters? It's twenty two and a half centimeters. How about we just do twenty two? Eleven centimeters. Eleven ten and three quarters centimeters. Eleven centimeters. And seventeen. Eight and a half. Eight 
Disney things. Let's week. Let's see. Do I have any Disney flavored washi tape? I don't think I have any Disney flavored washi tape. I know. Shocking, isn't it? I have Christmas. Stickers. I don't have any Disney flavored washi tape. Wow. Really gotta get on that. It needs Disney flavored washi tape. Maybe we should change our theme. We can have a smiley face theme. Theme. Then we can go in with a, a circle machine.
Hiya, Gary. How are you? Are you having a nice day? You sure do. I am so full. I just ate a whole plate of Chinese food. I am stuffed. I'm all pregnant full of food. That's kind of silly. That's just what it needed. <clears throat> okay, now then. Twenty nine. <sighs> it's been a very busy day so far. I have gone shopping, put the shopping away, got lunch, ate lunch, talked to some friends. this and I am exhausted I need a nap I may have a nap before our meeting tonight Schedule for next week. 
Now they look like mice. Yes, they do, huh? Isn't that cute? I want to put this Fountain Pen Revolution sticker in here. there anyway. Every time one of my pen friends sends me one of these, I always think to myself, I want to put these somewhere where I can look at them really nice like. They are so beautiful. This one kind of reminds me of um, Alice in Wonderland where they're talking to the dodo bird. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so full. Okay. I have more somewhere. If they're in the bottom of the bucket, or oh, where they might be. Get a really stupid song stuck in your head, then you can't get it out. Ew. Preacher. Yuck. Ugh. Yeah. Tiny bug. You. They better back off. Otherwise, we're going to get it. Back off, haters. It's going to be the combat for you. That's what it's going to be. Combat! Oh, there's one. I have one other one, and it's supposed to be like this color. I'm trying to find it. That's the one that I want to use, but I can't find it to save my life. No. There it is. I found you. Ha uh ha, -huh, found you. What'd you get? <sighs> 
So my dear friend Joe Lynn sent me a whole bunch of these things. And I am very grateful for them because they are so beautiful. They look like diamond. They sparkle like diamond. I feel like, would you like Crypto Jail? Which of these colors do you think I should put? The silver one, the red one, the yellow one, or the blue one? The red one last week. The blue one. All right. Agreed. I love these little paper tab things. They are so useful and they stick good. Like, that is a good solid stick. That's not going anywhere. <laughs> this is the company, Avery, Avery Ultra Tabs, Lux Collection, multi-use, durable tabs for easy organization. There's a red one, a yellow one, and a silver one with that rainbow-esque sparkly that uh But I think I'm going to use those on a different type of a book. Okay. Okay, what is go? Hi, Gristle. How are you? Are you having a nice day? Oh, I wish I could use all of them all at once. But then I wouldn't have any anymore. So I have to I have to tell myself not to use things sparingly. That might sound ridiculous. But I have a problem holding on to things that I ne don't need to hold on to like this. When am I ever going to use this piece? The, it's not a sticky. It's not... I don't know. So It's going in the trash. I have to learn to say it's okay to throw things in the trash. Okay, what's on the menu for today? Here's what's on the menu. We have an interview tomorrow. We have currently inked. Um, let's see. Okay, currently inked. inked and I want to put a little sticker with that we we'll use one of these little stickers that were generously gifted by Chris signs I think these were gifted by Chris signs these are come with the little colorverse bottle and they're really cute I like them a lot I might have to buy me a box Buy me a bottle of Colorverse ink if I'm going to get one of these little sticker things because they're useful. Ow. Eyeball, stop it. Stayed up watching weird news stories. Well, stop watching news. It's not good for you. Stop cleaning your room. Stop watching the news. Just go out and live life. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Okay. Then we need to put the laundry. We need to put the the sticker for the laundry. I have to do the laundry this weekend because my pile is getting untamable over there. 
it's getting out of control. I need to do something about it. Laundry, okay. I have to stop making videos when after I eat because I get retarded after I eat. I'm too pregnant full of food. So I'm going to start doing shopping on Saturday. And laundry on Sunday. Oh, and I only have one laundry sticker left. Laundry tomorrow. <laughs> Laundry. Okay. Oh, and the Netflix is due. I need a do sticker. Do. Okay. The Netflix is on. Is due. Netflix. And I don't know if Mike is going to be back by Tuesday, but if he is back by Tuesday, Homework with Mike, Mr. M. G. Ward, and then do we have any birthdays, Brittany. Canard's birthday. Do I know Brittany Canard? I don't think I know a Brittany. If, if it is your birthday, yay! Add me on Facebook and I will remember to write you a birthday message. Other than that, there's no birthdays that I know of. And if you do have a birthday and you want me to write you a message on your birthday, leave me a comment in the section below and I will put it on the calendar. Go to hell, babe. <laughs> You're looking at her, sweetheart. <laughs> no, we do not have a maid. We do have a uh, cleaning service, but they do the carpets and the flooring downstairs. They don't really clean dishes or... pick up after you type people. So what else? Ever get a Picasso pen or Regal brand? Honey, I'm too poor for those things. Like the most expensive pen I have is my Waterman 12 POC and it cost me $214.
Mo all of my pens are under two hundred and fourteen dollars. My second most expensive pen is my Pilot Falcon at one hundred and eighty five dollars. Go internet, go. I don't have time for this bullshit. Move your ass. Pilot Falcon. At $275. Uh, no, $175. Sorry, excuse me. Picasso's are high. Regal was $24. Oh, I see. That it, you're high rolling right there. Watch out. My third most expensive pen was this Pilot Custom 912. Custom 912 was $176. Yeah, 170. Oh, 100, this one was more expensive than my Pilot Falcon. Oh, I didn't even know that. It was $174. And. All of my Conklins were $80, except for my Endless Summer, which was $27, but that's because I got it on sale, and I used the discount codes. <laughs> and my Pilot Vanishing Point Uh, vanishing point was a hundred and fifty dollars. My, uh, I think my, um, I think that, um, this was eighty dollars. This was eighty dollars. The uh, Fountain Pen Revolution Jaipur was like fifty-seven, fifty-eight dollars. <sighs> the uh, fifty-eight dollars. And now I'm on a tangent, and I don't know how I got here. <laughs> Isn't that just how it is? Stop making me tangents. <laughs> Over $50. That's the limit. Yeah. There's a lot of great pens that are, <clears throat> if you're looking for flex, I would buy a Noodler's Conrad and a Noodle and a Fountain Pen Revolution Ultra Flex Nib. That's probably the best bet for the best, for the cheapest flex. Alexa, mm -hmm. stop. Either this one or buy, um, a fountain pen revolution Himalaya with the ultra flex nib. That's probably the second best. Third best would be trying to get a Waterman 12 with the with a boinga boinga nib or a, a flexi nib. Of course, if you're not into flex, the Jinhao 992 is a perfectly good pen. There's nothing wrong with the Jinhao 992. 
Okay, it might be free with shipping, but that's like the best free with shipping you will ever pay in your whole life. Let me tell you. I love my Jinhao 992s. I have 10 of them, at least. 10 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I know I have 10 of them. What did I do with the other one? Maybe I broke it. I did break one and threw it, threw it away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, nice. So I have nine of them right now. Nope, I, I remember now. I gave one away. I gave one away as a gift. So... Love the Noodler's Triple Tail. They are $55. Yeah, I'm I'm very weary about getting the Triple Tail. I have the Noodler's... I have all of the Noodler's pens. I have the Charlie pen. Oh, I don't have a... Um, I don't have a safety pen. I have the Charlie pen. I have... The Nib Creeper. I have the Conrad. I have two Conrads. The Claire Conrad and the um, the acrylic Conrad. I like the acrylic Conrad except for the fact that they don't line up. The, um, the shimmery bits, they don't line up. Which is heartbreaking because it is such a beautiful pen if they would have just taken the 10 minutes you know to make it so that it lined up nice it would have been an excellent pen but it's a very good pen holds ink writes well i don't like the section of the ahab because it flares down and the Conrad flares up, or is convex. You can definitely see that there's two different shapes going on. This one, no, this one's kind of shaped like a nipple, and this one's kind of shaped like a finger and has like a little tiny flare out right there. And there's just something about the the flow of the Ahab that is not like the Conrad. The Conrad is more flowy, I think, than the Ahab. I've even gone as far as taking out the breather hall, the breather tube, because I found that it didn't help or hinder the the um the flow of the of ink inside of it so but if i were to be given one i would be very grateful <laughs> i am interested in getting a um a triple tail and i am also interested in getting a safety pen However, there is a pen out there that is on my wish list. I'll show it to you right now. It's called the Hero H718. It's $75. Comes in silver, black, and gray. And it has a 10 carat gold nib, which means that it is super soft. The problem with it is, is it's a safety pen. <laughs> so it's not really meant for going out and about with, because it's a safety pen. There's going to be ink that's not going to be very cooperative. So that is on the list of wants. 
I also would like to have a desk pen that works. Up here, Gustafson, if you're watching this. I have uh oh, what did I do with it? I don't even know what I did with it. Ah! I done lost it. I had a green pen that Pierre sold me, and it didn't have a nib that fit into it. And, oh, I know what I did with it. It's in my, this, this, desk pen doesn't have a, a nib that fits in it. So, oh well. Well, that might be slightly inaccurate. The they, 10 carats nibs are supposed to be really soft. I don't know. Most nibs are plain, not solid. Yeah. Well, most nibs don't even use iridium tips anymore. It says iridium tip, but iridium comes from meteors from outer space. And it is such a fine, very expensive, very hard metal that it's very difficult to find. So most tipping is made from stainless steel or, um, some sort of steel. Where was I? Okay, I need to get back on the train. Okay, here we go. I need to get back on the train. Where? There's a joke. There's a there's a TikTok. This lady, she's she says, I don't have. I don't have a a train a train of thought. I have three I have twelve trains on three tracks and all of the conductors are screaming. All the passengers are screaming. All of the passengers are dead and all of the conductors are screaming and they're barely missing each other by millimeters. <laughs> um, okay. Five PM Zoom One PM uh, We just set up. Oh, I believe it. The more... Not necessarily. The harder, the more... The more Ks, the more... The more gold, the harder the nib. 18 karat gold is the same thing that um, the pilot vanishing point is made of. It's the same thing that the some Visconti nibs are made of. They're very hard. The less gold, the softer they are depending on what they're mixed with. 
Some are mixed with copper, some are mixed with steel, some are mixed with other types of gold. But from what I've seen of the of that pen, the flux is phenomenal. That's all I know. I didn't start an hour early. How long have I been up? Oh, I guess I did. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Maybe I should schedule it 12. Twelve. How's that? <laughs> and then when I'm late, I'm going to be yelled at for being late. Sometimes I just want to make a video. <laughs> I have a better idea. <laughs> no time. On the Bujo setup video. What's that? I like them apples. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I'm just kidding. So how about, let's say, between... 12 and 4.55. How's that? Is that better? <laughs> oh, man. Thank you. I like my journal. It's one of the, and we got this one from, um, from Barnes and Noble. It was 1795 and it's called a Denik, D-E-N-I-K. Art can change the world. Join the movement at denik.com. At shop Denick, hashtag Denick. Cover artist Tyler Spangler. Tyler Spangler dot com. At Tyler underscore Spangler. Mix Media Sketchbook. Help build schools. Support an artist. Seven by nine. 132 blank pages, acid free, 177 GSM, 120 pound. It works all right, I guess. Make it hard to join the live if you do not have a consistent start time. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I've been having a really hard time myself trying to keep everything in order because the way that my work has me running around like a chicken with my head cut off, I never know if I'm going to be here or if I'm going to be at the hospital or where I'm going to be. So I've tried to be here. After 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, and I sometimes I get up early, and sometimes I don't even look at the clock and I just start whenever. But if it helps you, I want you all to know that I have asked to change positions permanently so that I can work from home. Have to wait and see how that goes, though. It's like asking for a fart in a whirlwind.
You don't know when it's going to come. And by the time it's here, it's too late. You can't turn around. Only in the twilight zone, exactly. And like, I work Monday through Friday from 8 to 5. Five. And the only reason that I do my lives in the middle of the day is when I get my lunch period. And I can be anywhere from 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. It just depends on if any clients call out or if people are on time and it doesn't take a really long time to deal with them. I am I'm paying off student loans. I still have about $300,000 in student loans. Time is relative to the beholder. That's right. I have six, six degrees and I'm not using hardly any of them, which is really sad. But and I have applied to other places. I've even applied to teach. So that's one of the jobs I've applied to do. I've applied to teach the, at the college. I've applied to do the administrative work. That's what I was doing before COVID hit. I really like the administrative job. It was a sit down job, but I could do most of it from here. And once the clinic opens, they're going to need an administrator to come into the office. And this is right down the street. It's a five minute walk. So. That would be really nice if I can get that job once the clinic opens back up. They said that it should be opening on the 27th. So if everything goes well, hopefully I'll have a new job on the 27th or the 26th. We'll see. So cross your fingers. Anyway, what else is new? What is new? Let me see what else. Okay, I'm going to show you what, what I got on my want list. Okay, I got a UV black light. Don't need that right at this moment. Here, nail powder. It's called Aurora Halo Chrome. I want to make it into a fountain pen ink. <laughs> Comes in a little tube, and it's very shimmery. I want to make it into like a clear, silvery ink to put in fountain pens. Let's see what else. I need to buy a new tabletop desk. They are fairly cheap. Eight dollars. The problem with buying it is getting it shipped to my house or taking it on the bus and that's 
kind of an arduous mission. I want to buy a Yovo Ultraflex nib. But I don't know. I want I need to buy a new studio headband because mine is broken. It's broken. So I need a new headband. I want to buy a new, I, I'm getting ready to buy a new Pilot Frictions because I use them so often and I have no idea how to tell if they're empty or not because they are opaque. Oh, I guess they are translucent. Oh, I didn't even know that. When was I looking at? I was looking at the black one. Oh, I guess you can tell if there's ink in there. How about that? Huh, maybe it was full before. I don't know. And then I want to buy one of these Hero 8718 uh, pens in either the gray one or the black one. If you get it without a box, it's $69. But if you get it with a gift box, it's $75. I don't need a gift box. It's just going to sit in a corner and collecting dust. So I'm thinking thoughts about getting one. That's a really good price for a Roshizuku ink. $19. Oh no, that's just for the Pilot 78G. Oh gee. Anyway. That is all for today. I've seen pictures of people making couches on the bus. People, pictures moving couches on the bus. Yeah, they won't allow us to do that here. They are very specific on... Um, the things that we're allowed to do on the bus systems here. Oh, I have to transmit, I have to transpose, I have to migrate things from last week. Uh, I bought a mouse pad because this one is literally falling apart. It's being held together with dab glue. Um, I bought a sticker for my uh, house manager. She's she doesn't know if she's going to be able to stay because her her visa has expired. Her work visa has expired. So we will see. Mm, I don't know what else to talk about. Anybody see any cool pens that they want to buy? What was that pen that you wanted to buy, Chris? What's it called? It's called... Uh, a Regal Prince. Regal Prince, huh? 
even that. Is that is that is that the one you're talking about? Looks very nice. It looks like it has a number five size nib. It's very thin. Comes with a nice box. It's a cartridge converter. It looks like it has a. It's not you know it's not a inter, international. I mean it might be international, but it looks like a proprietary cartridge converter pen. Is that the one you're talking about? Oh, you ordered the red one. Oh, I see. They have an orange one. They have an orange one here. A black one. Oh, a black, a version one and a black version two. What is the difference? Silver trim, gold trim? No, I don't know what the difference is. This one says it's made of copper. This one says it's made of metal. I don't know what the difference is, but it looks really nice. Well, my computer is starting to crash, so I am going to go. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I hope that you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. I will let you know how it turns out. I hope so. You'll have to let me know if you like it or not. I am going to take a nap. I need one. My brain is running on mush. Okay, love you. Bye. Have a nice day. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the little bell, make sure it's set to all so when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you. And I will be back very soon with another video. So take care until then. Okay, love you, bye.